Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you a little tip here on modeling some things in um, different forms and being able to modify them while they're all being shown. One of my subscribers asked a question, was it possible to have a like this fuselage form here and this canopy form here, could they both be open and both being shown like this where you can go back and edit each one of these parts in here. And to be honest, I didn't know the answer to that question. So I reached out to one of my friends who was a Fusion 360 expert, and he told me, yes, you can do that. And he told me how to do that. So today I'm going to share with you guys how to actually go ahead and do that. So as you can see right now, I can edit um, any one of these forms. There's um, one, two, three, there's four forms right here. And so to do this, what to do is start over. I want to finish this out. As you can see, there's all four forms just like that. So I'm going to put a cylinder on the front plane. Uh, simulate a fuselage. We'll click this form. Turn the origin back on. And I'm going to use a cylinder. Click that. On this plane here. Center. Turn this on. Let me cancel this. I want to put this on the front. So cylinder again, this plane, center, drag this out. And pull this back. Add some height faces. Don't need that many. And go ahead and click OK. And let's say I want a canopy up here. And with the canopy, I'm just going to go ahead and use a ball for that. So I'm going to click. As you can see, I'm still in this. I haven't uh, finished this form yet, so I can still do another form in here. You can put as many forms as you want um, in here. So I'm going to go ahead and click. Um, now I'm going to have to um, use another cylinder. What the heck? And um, click cylinder. This plane. Pull this back. And click OK. Let's go ahead and move it first. And move this back and click OK. Now we have that in here, like that. And edit this.
Okay, now we have our canopy on there. And I still can come down here to this form here and edit also. And now you're able to have this form lit up, this form lit up, and being able to edit both of these forms at the same time. So you can look at this form and this form and judge how far you need to move this down into here to um, get everything in a proper position and stuff. And do a little more editing here. Click OK. Let's say I want some wings in here. Um, I use a box here. This plane here. Symmetric. And let's say I want some wings. Let's just say right here. And click OK for this. And there we have some wings. And all this stuff is all edit, um, editable. Fuselage, the canopy, and the wings. All this stuff can be added at one time. Yeah, you see? While everything is all here. And this is a really good tip to have, um, like when you're doing canopies like this, and um, you really need to see the fuselage to get the thing lined up properly in here like this. So yeah, and one other um, um, thing I want to tell you, let's say we um, clicked OK and finished this out here like this. Now. Let's say I forgot to put another form in here um, that I need it. I can always come back down here, right click this, edit, and right back to this, and then I can put another form in here. So let's say I want to put one back in this one here. Um, let me go ahead and close this out. And so the first one that I did, it'll go back here and edit. I can come back here and add a form in this, into this also. So yeah. So it's a pretty cool little um, um, thing to have in your um, toolkit when it comes to modeling airplanes. So yeah, but that's going to do it for this video. I just want to show you guys a quick little tip there on um, how to be able to work with um, more than one form at the same time and um, to edit, edit it so you can make things like this. And um, let's say... Um, I didn't do this like this. Let's just say I um, came up here and just created another form. Um, let's, I'll show you that. So if I create a form here on this plane, you say cylinder again. I don't want it here. Cancel this. Um, I'm going to put it up here. Pull this back here. Now, as you can see, you can see an outline of this fuselage here, but it's not the same color as this, so you can really see a sharp um, um, contrast between the two. So um, this is fine too, and you just have to keep finishing the form and going back and forth and um, seeing how that works for you. But yeah, 
But anyway, that's going to do it for this quick little um, tip in Fusion 360. And if you have any questions about this, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. And, um, or um, go over to my Patreon site or my Facebook group and leave me a um, question. If you have a question, leave them there. And the site's called Cat Bill Fly RC. Go over there and have a look. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And go ahead and click that like button, subscribe, and comment. And we'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe for more.